Well, good evening, everybody. It's meteorologist Terry Swales, and the cold weather continues to grip the other upper Midwest. Our temperatures today have only been in the low to mid teens, and with winds gusting up to 25, 30 miles per hour, wind chills have been well below zero. And it looks like that's the type of conditions we can expect here for the next 24 hours, too. On our future track, all the clouds are well to the south and east of us tonight, so we're looking at mostly clear skies, but the winds are actually going to pick up ahead of another disturbance, and by morning we could see some gusts here out of the west-southwest as high as 25 to 30 miles per hour. So after a quick fall on temperatures here to sub-zero readings around minus 2, it looks like we'll expect to get those wind chills back in the range of minus 10 to minus 20 across eastern Iowa and western Illinois. That's a very raw night to say the least. Then during the day tomorrow, we should be back into some sunshine around here and after our cold start, get our highs back up around 18, but there'll still be plenty of wind around. And as a result of that, wind chills all day long tomorrow should be below zero around many parts of the Midwest. And notice the clouds already gathering then for Tuesday evening. That weather disturbance comes across after midnight and brings another round of snow to the region. And it looks like one to perhaps three inches of accumulation would be a possibility in some parts of eastern Iowa and western Illinois. We'll get that fine tuned here in the next 24 hours. Meantime, tonight's forecast, a very cold one, all the way down to minus two out there with mostly clear skies and frigid conditions. Look at those wind chills. Then during the day tomorrow, I'd say mostly sunny skies will rule, but blustery and cold conditions with west winds of 15 to 30 miles per hour. That'll keep the wind chills down there around minus 10 to minus 15. The actual high getting back to about 18 degrees.